Welcome back to the channel guys. We're taking a look at setting up Steam Deck for cloud gaming and this is going to be with Edge and Google Chrome for Amazon Luna, Boosteroid, GeForce Now and Xbox Cloud Gaming. Cloud can be a really useful tool on the Steam Deck so let's go ahead and get into it and how to get it set up. Now everything's going to be done from the desktop and if you don't know how to get to the desktop there's two ways to do it. So from game mode you can hold your power button down to get your menu here and go to switch to desktop. You can also press the Steam button and go to power and then you'll get the same menu here and you can switch to desktop from there. So everything that we're going to do to set up is going to be from the desktop here. And once we're done here, when we're finished, everything will look nice and clean in our game mode. Now, everything I've learned from this originally came from Xbox's uh, cloud gaming setup here for Game Pass on Steam Deck. They launched this a few months ago to let everyone know how to do it. This process works for pretty much uh, Edge and Chrome and for any of the sites that work with cloud. So it's been very useful. And if you need something that you can look at and read through, I'll have that link in the description. Now, one of the first things obviously you want to do is use your discovery tool here and make sure you have Edge and Chrome downloaded, ready to go. A pretty obvious one, but if you haven't done it yet, that's what you want to do. You can go in here and search for Edge and go ahead and get that installed. Mine just says remove because, of course, we've already got it. Or you could go in here and search for Chrome and you would be able to do the same thing. Now, of course, you don't have to set up both, but Luna is the only one that doesn't work on Edge and you must use Chrome. So you could just use Chrome for all of them, all these cloud gaming if you wanted to, or you could use them both. I use Edge mostly unless I'm on Luna, but they both work really well for me. So we're going to go into our library now that our Edge and Google Chrome are installed. And you can see here my Microsoft Edge already shows up in Steam because I've already added it as a non-Steam game. So what you want to do is click add a game here, add a non-Steam game, and Google Chrome I haven't added yet. We'll be able to just check mark here. Now Edge would also be here if I hadn't already done it. So you want to make sure they're both in there and then add selected programs. And then they'll show up. I'll scroll down here and you'll see Google Chrome has been added as well. And I haven't put any media or pictures in there yet for it. It's just been added, but it's good to go. So we would be able to launch these from game mode if we wanted to. And we would be able to go ahead and do cloud gaming that way if we wish. But we're going to set it up much cleaner than that in here. So I'm going to close this out for now. And we're going to close out our browsers as well that I had open here because we're going to enable controller support next. And I don't want these open when we do that. The code line for that is on the Microsoft website. And I'll also try to have it in the description for you. So what you want to do is go over to your application launcher. I just go to all applications and scroll down to K for console. Open up your console. You might need to expand the window a bit here if it's uh, too small on you to see what you're doing. And then I'm just going to copy and paste my command line in here for Microsoft Edge opening up controller support. You can see it right here if you prefer to just look and type it out. So once I put that in there, I'll hit enter and controller support will work on Edge. Now I'm going to put the exact same line of code in here for Google Chrome. <clears throat> but what we're going to do is change the last part here to Google.Chrome. So let's erase the Microsoft.Edge part here. And then we'll type out Google dot Chrome, hit enter, and then that will allow controller support for Steam Deck on Chrome as well. So now our controller will work for both browsers, a big important part uh, to be able to get cloud gaming work in here. So now that that's done, we can continue on with our setup. Now, essentially, for desktop mode and game mode, we are now set up for cloud gaming. You could typically stop here if you wanted to. I have my bookmarks here for the various cloud gaming sites we're setting up today, and they all work great. I have full controller support. I can launch games, whether it be Google Chrome or Edge. But if we want these to have nicer looking artwork when we go on our game mode, and if we want these to launch directly to the sites um, instead of looking like a browser, if we want them to look more like an app, then we want to go a bit farther. And I think it's really worth the additional steps and setup if you want your Steam Deck to work really convenient and to look really nice. So let's go ahead and get into that now. So what I'm talking about here is you can see cloud gaming for Xbox here and GeForce Now are set up with nice looking artwork. I can click uh, play here and it would take me right into Xbox Cloud Gaming and it's not going to look like a browser. You'll see here it looks more like an app. I have full controller support and touchpad support and everything works really well. And we can do this for all four of our cloud gaming platforms here and, and others as well. If I go in here to properties, you'll see um, launch options. And this is where we need to make a little bit of changes for each one. So this line of code will already be in there for Microsoft Edge and then it stops here. What we're adding in is this additional line of code for our window sizing and what website to go to. This is also on Microsoft's website. That link will be in the description and I'll also try to have this in there as well. 
All we're gonna have to change each time is the site at the end. So this was for Xbox. Let me go and show you another example real quick here. We'll go over to GeForce Now, which is also set up to go, and this is running through Microsoft Edge. I click Properties, go to that same Launch Options, and everything here will be identical as to what you just saw over on Xbox Cloud Gaming. Except when I get to the end, you'll see that we've just changed the address that we're going to. And for this, it should be uh, play.geforcenow.com. So that's giving it the window sizing and where to go and changes Edge from just a browser to looking really nice. We're going to do this for Boosteroid and Luna as well. And once all this is set up, we'll be able to take a look at that on game mode. And you'll be able to see how clean and nice that works on the Steam Deck. Okay, so to show you the whole process, let's set up Boosteroid now from the start. We've got Microsoft Edge added back into Steam, and we'll go ahead and get it changed over to Boosteroid uh, so that it works like the other two. So I'll click on my Microsoft Edge here. I'll click on my Properties, and we'll go into the Launch Options that we've been looking at so much here. And we're going to go ahead and paste in that line of code we've been talking about. Now, I don't want it to go to GeForce Now, of course, so I'm going to go grab my Boosteroid um, site here. I'm going to go ahead and copy my address here for where I'm logged in at. And then we're gonna go ahead and replace this part here for the GeForce Now, so we go to the proper site. All right, now that that's all set up, I can go ahead and change the name of this shortcut to Boosteroid. So we'll get rid of Microsoft Edge. We'll put Boosteroid in here, and then we'll change over our artwork. And I do have all of the artwork for all of this cloud gaming set up in the Discord. So there's a link in the description if you want to go uh, join on the Discord and go to the Steam Deck channel for media icons. Um, I'll be continuing to upload pre-sized uh, media if you want for your Steam Deck. So anyway, we'll change this over to our icon here for Boosteroid. I'll close out of here. We'll go ahead and clear out this edge background here. And we'll set custom background. And we will use my Boosteroid banner. There we go. Now, now that we've done this, if you go over here and look for Microsoft Edge, of course, it's not going to be there anymore. We've changed it over to this Boosteroid link and we've changed our artwork. So each time you do this, you need to be able to go back in and add a non-Steam game and add Microsoft Edge back in or add Chrome back in, whichever one you're using this setup. Now, if you click play and this happens to you, what that usually means is you forgot to leave a space here where you pasted this piece of code in. Just wanted to show you that because I did have that happen to me. But as soon as you do that, click play again. Uh, you'll go right into your dash or into whichever cloud uh, gaming platform you're launching into. So now that that one's working properly, let's go ahead and move on here. Now, if you go into library and recents, there's one more spot I can add my capsule artwork here. So I'll go ahead and clear out this edge artwork. And then we'll add the uh, the capsule artwork here. Sometimes you have to do this twice, like when it moves over to the skinnier artwork and shows up like where Google Chrome is blank. Uh, Boosteroid may be blank. You got to add the capsule again there, but then uh, you would be good. So there we go. All of our artwork is in and everything's set up. We go to add a non-Steam game. We add Microsoft Edge back in again. And then we're all set up to use Edge from our game mode again, or we could set that up as our next cloud gaming platform. Now, what about Google Chrome? Well, it's the exact same process, and we're going to use that for Luna because Luna only works on Chrome. So we'll go to the properties, and you'll see the exact same launch options are here as we had for Microsoft Edge. Nothing different there. I'm going to go into GeForce Now just to show you this process a little bit. If you uh, need an easy way, go to one of your other shortcuts that you have. Go ahead and copy and paste your uh, your line of code here. You've seen me do this a couple of times in this video already, but I want to show you again. I even got this the space in there this time. We're going to copy that. Now, if we go back over to Google Chrome, it'll look very similar. It'll just be to Chrome this time. So let's go in here. Let's scroll on over. You'll see instead of Edge, we're at Google.Chrome, but then we can paste in the same line of code. We'll be all good. And of course, we do need to change our address here for uh, Luna. Now, if I scroll all the way over here, I will show you and verify and you might want to check yourself. You do have that space between the last at sign and then your double dashes before Windows. That way you don't get that error when you launch. So let me go grab my Amazon Luna shortcut here or my address for where I'm signed in at. We'll go ahead and scroll over and show you doing this again where you change your address at the end. All right, so we'll go ahead and highlight this and then we'll copy and paste Luna in here and that'll get Chrome nice and set up for Luna. Like I said, you can just use Chrome for all of them if you want to. Um, I just kind of bounce back and forth between all of them, but that's all set up. We can do the same thing as we did for Booster right here. So I'm going to rename Google Chrome to Luna. I'm going to go ahead and change my artwork. So I already have my artwork ready to go. 
we'll put in our Luna icon. We can close out of that. We'll go ahead and clear our Chrome background here. We'll add in the Luna banner. All right. And then that'll be looking good. And then same thing, you can always go to your recents and uh, I haven't launched it yet, so it might not be showing up there, but we'll launch into Luna first and we'll just double check that that is working. It should launch in looking pretty much like an app, looking nice, having controller support, should be good to go. All right, so now that that shows up, I'll go ahead and go in here and add my capsule like I was showing you for Boosteroid. And there we go, everything's looking nice and clean for our cloud gaming and we're all set up. And then you could add Google Chrome back in if you want to be able to have access to it in game mode, just like we did with Microsoft Edge. And then you could go through and add all of your artwork for Google Chrome as well if you wanted to. But that gets us all set up, ready to move over to game mode and see all of our hard work uh, for us. So let's get moved over to game mode and take a look. So here in non-Steam games, you can see we have our artwork nice for Luna, for GeForce Now, for Xbox Cloud Gaming, everything's working nice. I click on that to launch it. It'll take us right into Xbox Cloud Gaming. You don't have to navigate a browser or anything and controller support is working good here as well. Now, Boosteroid and GeForce Now don't have controller support on the scrolling because it is still a browser. You need to use your touchpad, um, but it does work well. So I'll launch into GeForce Now here. Looking nice. I can move with the uh, touchpad. I could scroll with the bar over there and we could select our game. Once you're in game, controller will work just fine. Um, but for the browser, GeForce Now itself just doesn't support controller. Over on Luna, though, they do. It's very much like Xbox Cloud Gaming, so we'll launch into here. Luna's looking nice from game mode and full controller support, as you can see here as well, which is really nice and convenient. Boosteroid, I already have some videos up on the channel, so in the interest of time, we will get moving on here, but let me launch this real quick for you, and it will be looking nice as well, and you'll need to be able to use your uh, touchpad like with GeForce Now. So a little thing as well, if you have trouble with clicking with your touchpad, if the click isn't working, if you go into your control settings and you go to edit layout, your touchpad may be set or your track, trackpad may be set to right click like the stick. If you go in here and change that over to left click mouse, then you could scroll with your right touchpad and click with it for your left click and it makes it easier to go ahead and click and launch your games and stuff if you get a hang up on there. But really cloud gaming works very well for me. I play all of these on my Steam Deck. Of course, I'd rather play local when I can, but if there's an unsupported game or I don't have the space or the time to download, cloud can really be helpful. Or a game like Cyberpunk that for me on the 3080 tier from GeForce Now just runs way better through cloud. So I pretty much play it at 60 FPS ultra settings uh, on my Steam Deck that way. But cloud definitely has its uses. It doesn't always work great for everybody, but I wanted to get this video out and show people how to set up nicely for cloud gaming on your Steam Deck. I hope this video was helpful. Hope you enjoyed it. I know it was a little longer than most, but I really wanted to fit everything in there. Thanks a lot for coming to watch, guys. If you haven't already, subscribe, thumbs up, ring the bell. Leave me your comments down below, and I'll see you in the next one.